In this video, I want to explain how the essential characteristics work in Shopware 6. The main features allow the display of product information, such as the basic price, manufacturer number, EAN, or dimensions and properties. Therefore, you can create different templates which show the desired information at the checkout. But how can I manage these templates? The module for managing these templates can be found under Settings, Shop, Essential Characteristics. You can add a new template with the button Create New, or you can edit an already existing um, template by clicking on the name, or click on the context menu, menu on the right, to either edit it or delete it. So let's create a new template. Um, the modules for creating and editing an existing template are identical. So um, first click on create new and then enter a name and a description in the general information area. Uh, let's call it test one. Um, since the name is displayed on the product to select the template, it is best to make it unique. Um, please keep in mind that you have to save before um, yeah, adding some values. Um, in the values section, you can then define the data that will be displayed on the products that use the template. You can create new data um, by clicking on the button add field. This will open a window in which you can specify which type of data, for example, basic price calculation, properties, product information, uh, then will be added. Depending on which selection you make, a further page will appear with more options. For example, which properties should be displayed. Um, we've got this situation when you choose the product information, click on next, and then, yeah, we get to the further page where we can select these types. In our case, I will just pick the unit price and click on add. With the arrow buttons on the right here, uh, you can change the display order when using multiple values. To remove an existing value, just um, yeah, first activate the checkbox of the value and then click on the trash can um, symbol. To ensure that the information from the template is displayed in the checkout for a product, it is necessary to assign a template to the product. So let's go to products, open your test product, go under specifications, and then scroll down until you reach the point essential characteristics. Um, for this purpose, we have to add a new section essential characteristics. Um, here you can select an existing template that should be used for this product from the drop-down menu. So in our case, we will just choose our um, previously um, created template test one. After that, you are finished and just click on save then. And now let's have a look how everything looks in the storefront. In the storefront, the information is then shown for those products that have an essential characteristics template assigned to them. The data requested by the template is shown with the product to find it here. Um, if the product information is not shown, please check if the following re requirements are met. First one, um, a template containing the essential characteristics is assigned to the product. And secondly, 
the information requested by the template is maintained with the product. For example, for the basic price calculations, um, these are sales unit of measurements and basic unit in the section measures and packaging.